We were contacted by the Museum of London to ask whether we could undertake the rebuilding of the fire engine. This initially started with a, with a set of photographs being supplied to us of the barrel and from this we were able to ascertain an idea of what the design would have been like. Then it was a matter of then manufacturing it, trying to use old techniques and following a design that we thought would have been appropriate for that time. Well, it was months of work for Crowfords, who um, we worked with because they're one of the leading traditional coach building companies. We knew that they had the traditional skills to build the missing parts of the fire engine in the way that they would have been made in the 17th century. It has been quite a challenging job to take on, trying to find your way and feel as if you're at that time in history making the article yourself then. So it's looking at all the materials that would have been used designs and shapes and what they would have actually been capable of actually doing at that time. The fire engine is an exact replica of the engine as shown in the photograph. The actual engine as you see it on display is as accurate as you can get. When people come to look at the exhibit I want them to appreciate how much work would have gone into this fire engine. Water would have fed into the piston itself. The maximum it would have held about six pints of water, providing the barrel was full of water. So for the sake of a half a tonne of weight there, it would have squirted a very small amount of water at the fire. So it was probably more of a placebo effect for um, pretending to put out the fire rather than it actually putting out the fire itself. When it was first loaned to us in 1928, the fire engine was just a barrel, essentially, with a metal tube in the centre. So it was really hard for visitors to understand that it actually was a fire engine. It's the first time we've ever been able to show how this fire engine would have worked. So I think it's really going to be a kind of centrepiece of the exhibition. Um, it's going to be a really exciting thing for people to see.